I want to show you today uh, my first video in tips and tricks on how to use styles in a word processing document. I'm doing these examples in LibreOffice, which is uh, a fork off of the OpenOffice.org suite. This is a free Office suite, Microsoft Office compatible. Uh, I like it because A, it's free. Um, B, it's uh, much simpler to use than Microsoft Office, I think. And C, it just seems to work a lot faster on the systems that I use. I know a lot of people use Microsoft Office for their word processing tools, um, but you can do every trick that I, that I do in this video here. Uh, you just need to go into Microsoft Office's style area in the ribbon and right click on any style and you can change things from there. Uh, if you want to try out LibreOffice or OpenOffice.org, I'll put up the links uh, to those suites uh, in this video. Now here I'm starting out with a blank document. You can see up here I have a default style that's set up. This means that all the text is just going to look like that because that's the default style. Now what I want to show you today is how to use headers to make the different sections of your text pop out a little bit more and stand out from one another. This is particularly important for uh, headers that are going to be subsections of a, of a main section. So say you're writing a long report or a document and you want to section out different areas. Um, making the headers show up in a consistent way will show that your document is built uh, in a certain, certain uh, form. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to paste in my header. <clears throat> and you see it's set up for the default style. Now what I want to do is I want to, to change the heading to uh, heading 1. And you see I went up here to where it says default and I just click this down arrow. Now this is not all the styles that you have available to you. In fact, we're gonna be popping this up a little bit later. If you wanna see all the styles, there's a little button right next to it and it brings up the style list and you can see I'm on the default and here are literally all the styles that I have handed to me. We'll deal with that in a little bit. Right now I'm gonna click on that line and I'm gonna change this to heading one. And the font changes much bigger, you see some space above that text. It used to be flush up against the margin and uh, it's bold, so it's gonna stand out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit return. You're gonna see there's a nice space in between there. And we did not go back to the default style. That's because after the heading one style is used, it's set to automatically go to text body. And so I'm gonna paste in my first paragraph saying that this is the text body style. See, it's got some nice space in between the paragraphs. It shows things off. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about how to manipulate the text body style in a, for, in a later video. I'm going to hit return, still text body. I'm going to paste in my second heading. There it is. It's text body style, but I want to make this heading two. You see there's some more space that's put up on, uh, in between the paragraph and that second header. And uh, the header's now a little bit smaller. It's still bold, um, it's still aerial. If you're looking at this really fast, you might have a difficult, difficult time understanding that these uh, sections should be considered or read together as one larger block. I'm gonna show you how to make that pop out a little bit. But I wanna explain something a little bit about word processing styles. They're odd. Uh, they pull double duty. Uh, they're used both to manipulate the look, the look and feel of a text, but they also give the document structure. Now, if you use the styles to give a document a look and a feel that's consistent across the entire document, that's actually going to save you a lot of time. Because if I wanted to change my headers and I was doing all the formatting manually, like say I wanted to go and make this Arial and I wanted to make it 14 points, and I wanted to make it bold. And then, you know, I would have to change the paragraph formatting if I wanted to. There's my, there it is. I want to change the paragraph formatting if I want to give it space above and below the text. Um, if I wanted to change what my headers look like, I would have to do, and I did it manually, I would have to do that for every header that I created, one at a time. And on a long document, that's impossible. Instead, if you use styles, all you need to do is change the way the style looks, and then anything that takes that style is going to show up the same way. So,
This is my manual formatting, it's still set up that way. I'm gonna set up for header two. You see it added the, the suite, or the uh, paragraph space right up there. So now these two headers are both set up for the header two style. Now I'm gonna edit that to make it stand out a little bit more. Popped up and brought up my style list. You can see it says that this is the current active style in the paragraph. I'm gonna right click on the heading two and I'm gonna to go to modify. And here is everything that you can do to the style in order to, to change its look and its feel. From its alignment, its spacing, its color, everything. This is what you can do. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go to Font Effects. Font color is currently set to automatic. Well, I want this to pop out a little bit more. And I'm going to print on a color printer. So I'm going to make my second level text become blue. That's what we'll make it look like. And we're just going to make it bold, so not italic. I'm going to click OK, and now look, my headers have changed. I would never use that color in an actual document. I just want to show you what's the difference. So now, if you look at it, anything that comes after heading 1, these things are all red to be part of that same bigger block. And I only had to change it once. I can do the same thing with a large header. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a second large header. Now I want to make this header look, eh, pop it out a little bit different. So here's heading one. I'm going to go to modify. I am going to go to the font effects. And let's make this kind of a light dark gray. And you see they both change at the same the same time. I don't have to go through and manually format every line where I am changing the, the, the header style. Um, this saves a lot of time when you are working on a document. Um, for the headers in particular, but when you want to start changing body style, that's going to be really important. And that's one thing that we're going to check out in the next video.